I want everything to be perfect. I'll be expecting highly influential people. So I want everything to be on point. My wedding must be the talk of the town. Hope you can handle it. Of course, you have the best event planner in Lagos. All you have to do is trust me with everything and you won't be disappointed. So how many guests are you expecting? Um, the wedding is going to be strictly by invitation. I don't want any low life attending my wedding. It's gonna be strictly rich people. So I'll be expecting 300 guests at most. I want you to make reservations in one of the most expensive halls in Lagos for me. How about a okay hotel and suits? It's the most expensive hall in Lagos. Can help you make inquiries and reservations right away, but it will cost you nothing less than 9 million naira. What? D d d did you just say 9 million? Yes, but there are less expensive ones. How about a rental hotel? It's just 5 million. 5 million? Yes, but there are still more affordable ones. No, 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 no. 5 million is just perfect for me. Are you sure? There are other exotic halls that are cheaper. I said 5 million is okay for me. I can afford it. Just make the necessary inquiries and get back to me. All right then. Now look who's here, the soon-to-be groom. And how is my soon-to-be bride doing? I'm doing great, love. I called you to come meet our event planner. Just started planning not quite long. Cynthia, meet my husband-to-be. Caleb, meet Cynthia. Nice to meet you, Cynthia. The pleasure is mine, sir. So, I was just discussing with your fiancé about the number of guests we'll be expecting and the hall we'll be using. We picked Oriental Hotel for the venue. Wait a minute. Did you say Oriental Hotel? Yes, sir. Please, how much does it cost? About 5 million naira, sir. What? Sophia? It's perfect, love. It's not even the best. I had to forgo Echo Hotel because of the price. Can't possibly settle for anything less, can we? Um, Cynthia, please, can you excuse us for a minute? I want to have a word with my wife-to-be. All right, sir. I'll be waiting outside. Kelly, what is wrong with you? Why do you like to embarrass me like this? Why are you acting like you can't afford it? Because I can't afford it. What exactly is your problem? I told you my budget for the wedding, but you are bent on having an extravagant wedding. How can you think of renting a hall of 5 million? How much am I making? So you want me to go for a cheaper hotel when my friends had theirs at an expensive hotel? Rachel and Annabelle both used Echo Hotel and Suit. What do you want them to think of me when they find out that I can't even afford a rental hotel? They'll think I married a pauper. Who gives you a hoot about what your friends think? I have told you several times that if your friends make you feel inferior or they are pressurizing you in any way, then it's best that you cut them off for the sake of your mental health. You are slowly losing your senses because of them. Look, if you know what is best for you, better call that event planner and look for a cheaper haul and whatever haul you are choosing must not exceed 500,000. 500 what? I'm damn serious about what I just said. I'm out of here. I have work to do. Caleb, get back here. We are not done talking. You not disgrace me like this, so. We are taking that hole whether you like it or not. Oh my God. This man wants to put me to shame. He wants to make me a laughing stock among my friends. How can I go as low as renting a hole of 500,000? Go for beat. Babe, so you mean to tell me that the Range Rover parked outside is yours? Yes, ho. I couldn't believe it when my husband came back with it yesterday and told me it's mine. Wow, I'm so happy for you, girl. Your husband is the real G, man. <laughs> of course he is. Congratulations, babe. You deserve it. And what are we celebrating? We are celebrating our beloved friend who just got a brand new Range Rover from her husband. Are you kidding me? I saw a Range Rover parked outside. I was admiring the car before I walked in here. You mean to tell me that the car is yours? Yes, dear. 
Wow, whoa. congratulations, girl. This calls for celebration. We will celebrate later, but let's focus on you. So, how is the wedding preparation going? Have you spoken with the event planner? Yes. We have chosen Oriental Hotel as the venue of the reception. Oriental? But isn't it too expensive? Are you kidding me? How is Oriental expensive? Her husband can afford it. It's totally nothing to him. He even wanted it to be at Echo Hotel, but I was the one that convinced him to choose Oriental because I prefer it to be Echo. You would have let him pay for Echo Hotel instead. Echo is far better. I think Oriental is perfect. There isn't much different. So you are finally on your way to becoming a missus. Yes, yeah, so there is no time to waste. I'm not only becoming a missus, but also the wife of a multi-millionaire. That's the main flesh, girl. This wedding is going to be the talk of town because we're going to make sure it's lit in every way. That reminds me, Sophia, what about the new car you said your husband is shipping from abroad? Hasn't it gotten to the country? It hasn't gotten into the country yet. Just relax. Once it arrives, you girls will be the first to know. You said it's Ferrari, right? Yes, 2020 model. Wow. I'm so happy for you, girl. I'm happy for all of us because it's not easy to secure a rich husband. How did we get so lucky? I ask myself that question at times too. That reminds me. I'll be traveling to Maldives with my husband for vacation. Really? That's where I and Kelly plan on going for our honeymoon. You should really go there. It's like heaven on earth. So how long will you be staying? Just two weeks. Don't worry, I'll be back on time to help you out with the wedding preparations. You better be. Why haven't we ordered anything? Where are the waiters? We need to make a toast and celebrate. Waiter! Yes, so to celebrate love and also celebrate wealth. Haha, <laughs> you are so on point, girl. Good evening, love. Baby, are you not the one I am greeting? Haven't you even going to welcome me? What is the matter? Baby, what's wrong? So, you're still going to pretend like you don't know what you did, right? What did I do? Please, what have I done again? Stanley, what exactly is my offense? Why do you keep doing this to me? Doing what? Please, can you go straight to the point and stop speaking in parables? Where were you this evening after work? Where exactly are you coming from? What do you mean by where am I coming from? Didn't I call to tell you I was in a meeting? I didn't go anywhere else after work. Really? Yes, I am telling the truth. Come on. I thought we are over this already. I will never do anything to hurt you again. I love you and I am all yours. Please just trust me. Stanley, I'm so sick and tired of your lies. Just stop it already. For the very last time, where did you go after work? Sylvia, what are you talking about? I did not go anywhere. I can see that you have decided to stick with lies. So I will just leave you alone. Get out of my way, will you? Sweetheart, what is wrong? Don't you believe me? Of course, I do. Now, please, if you don't mind, will you get out of my way? I have other things to do. Baby, there is really no need for the attitude. I thought we have agreed that you would trust me from now on. What is with the attitude? Hello? I thought I told you not to call me by this time. What do you want? Okay, I will send you the money. But that's after we meet at the hotel tomorrow. Sure, that's my baby. I love you. Good night.